Hi everyone, my name is Jake Rivers and welcome to this week's episode of Toy Stories, where we take some of your favorite toys and use them to tell some of our favorite Bible stories. And this week, I've got a question for you. Have you ever done something that you were really ashamed of? Something you wish you could just erase? Maybe something you did or said that got you in a lot of trouble or made people really upset with you? Today, we're going to hear a story from Jesus about a guy who did something just like that. Something he really wished he could just erase. And to tell this story, I'm going to need some help from our amazing Doodleboard. Before I begin, here's what you got to know. When Jesus was on the earth, he was criticized by the people who were respected because he spent time with people who most people thought of as the bad guys. Mean people. Greedy people. People who cheat and take advantage of others and do all sorts of horrible things to one another. And the people who were respected thought that if Jesus really was from God, he wouldn't want anything to do with people like that. And so Jesus tells this story to help set the record straight. Are you ready? Let's get started with Jesus' parable of the two sons. He also said, a man had two sons. The younger of them said to his father, Father, give me the share of the estate I have coming to me. So he distributed the assets to them. Not many days later, the younger son gathered together all he had and traveled to a distant country where he squandered his estate in foolish living. After he had spent everything, a severe famine struck that country and he had nothing. Then he went to work for one of the citizens of that country who sent him to the fields to feed pigs. He longed to eat his fill from the pods that the pigs were eating, but no one would give him anything. When he came to his senses, he said, how many of my father's hired workers have more than enough food? And here I am dying of hunger. I'll get up, go to my father and say to him, Father, I have sinned against heaven and in your sight. I am no longer worthy to be called your son. Make me like one of your hired workers. So he got up and went to his father. But while the son was still a long way off, his father saw him and was filled with compassion. He threw his arms around his neck and kissed him. The son said to him, Father, I have sinned against heaven and in your sight. I am no longer worthy to be called your son. But the father told his servants, Quick, bring out the best robe and put it on him. Put a ring on his finger and sandals on his feet. Then bring the fattened calf and slaughter it. And let's celebrate with a feast, because this son of mine was dead and is alive again. He was lost and is found. So they began to celebrate. Now, his older son was in the field. As he came near the house, he heard music and dancing. So he summoned one of the servants, questioning what these things meant. Your brother is here, he told him, and your father has slaughtered the fattened calf because he has him back safe and sound. Then he became angry and didn't want to go in. So his father came out and pleaded with him. But he replied to his father, Look, I've been slaving many years for you, and I've never disobeyed your orders. Yet you never gave me a goat that I could celebrate with my friends. But when this son of yours came, you slaughtered the fattened calf for him. Son, he said to him, you are always with me, and everything I have is yours. But we had to celebrate and rejoice, because this brother of yours was dead and is alive again. He was lost and is found. Both the sons in this story had to learn something about the Father, something that Jesus wanted his audience to understand about God. Just like the older son, the people who were respected thought that God only cared about them because of what they did. That's why they were always trying to look good in front of other people, and why they looked down on others. To them, God was basically a slave master who always demanded more and more and more and could never be satisfied. But just like the younger brother discovered, that's not who God is at all. He is full of amazing grace, even for people who mess up big time and have nothing to offer. In fact, God loves failures so much, he sent his son Jesus to die on the cross to erase 
all of our sin so that we can live with Him forever. And a love like that is worth celebrating. So the next time you or someone you know is feeling down because of something you did wrong, bring it to Jesus. And I promise you, He will welcome you back with open arms. That's all the time we have for today. Thanks for joining us, and we'll see you next time.